It was August of 1995, and I was exhausted. Uh, it had been a very hard year, and I left on vacation that summer, not knowing if I was going to go back to the job I was leaving behind. We went west to Mesa Verde National Park and Arches National Park, but the goal was Yellowstone. We had an unforgettable time seeing the geysers and the mud pots and the wildlife, but on the last night of our stay, knowing we'd be heading back home the next day, I found myself outside, alone, waiting for Old Faithful to erupt one last time. As I sat there in the darkness, waiting, I gazed up at the stars, and I realized I was seeing something more. I was seeing tiny streaks arcing across the deep, dark Yellowstone sky. I was seeing the Perseid meteor shower. I hadn't realized I was going to see a meteor shower. But there, in that moment, with Old Faithful roaring just a few yards away, it seemed the meteors poured out of the sky just for me. In the darkness, I realized how small I was, what a gift from God our big world truly is, and what a holy place Yellowstone could be. It also helped me refocus and reconnect with my values. I ended up going back to that job, and when I think back to that time, I recognize what an important moment in my life that was. I realize that in those few solitary moments at Yellowstone, God was speaking to me. America's Holy Ground, 60 Faithful Reflections on Our National Parks, is available for pre-order now wherever you buy books. What is your holy moment in America's Holy Ground?